Top of the morning. Welcome to our kitchen. And you notice Father Joe is not here. He's probably upstairs resting once again. So keep him in your thoughts and prayers. As well as Father David. Father David had some surgery, I understand, today at Mass General Hospital. So we'll give you an update on that as we hear the news ourselves. Couple of questions that came forward. I'll, the easy one, I'll take you on first. After hearing confession, is a priest ever allowed to divulge something that a person has told them? That's easy. No, no, no. It's we call the seal of confession. So once a person has shared that with a priest, it doesn't go any further. Not even talking to another priest or the bishop or the pope anyone that you want to think about. Fair enough? So that's, that's easy, that's a no. Next. No. Next one. I've attended funerals where family members of the deceased who are not practicing Catholics have gone forward to receive Holy Eucharist during the funeral mass. How does the church look upon this? With great compassion and understanding, whenever we come to the Eucharist, the most important thing for us is to focus on myself, my own state of soul and my grace, not be looking at other people, what they're doing or who's going to communion. Really, that's almost like being a busybody. And that's not what Eucharist is all about. And the beautiful lines, remember from Pope Francis, the Eucharist is for the sick. It's not a reward for a person's lifestyle. And who are we to judge? The Lord has made mention that many, many times. So the emphasis really should be on upon our own state of spirituality and connectedness with the Lord. How does the church look upon it? As I said, with great compassion and understanding and non-judgmental attitudes. It is advised, as you well know, that when people receive the Eucharist, they should be in a state of grace. With that being said, who knows what the exact state of grace a person is in except the Lord. So it's really the Lord that we're responsible to, isn't it? So I leave all of that into the Lord's hands. I have great, great trust in how the Lord will handle things. I don't need to get all worried about them, or, or nervous, or anxious, or upset. Now, the surprise question. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Where did you get your sense of humor? Do I have a sense of humor? I have a sense of divilment. I picked that up probably from my father. My father was always a wonderful prankster. Uh, growing up in Ireland as well in in our own family life. I had always been pulling little jokes on people. Um, a story that I could share with you about humor is one of the times I was in Charlestown and I called up this new priest who was at St. Mary's. I was at St. Catherine. St. Mary's abuts the Charlestown Monument. And I called up and I impersonated uh, a travel guy saying that I was bringing people to tour the uh, Bunky Hill Monument. So, Father, could you please tell me, because we had had a big snowstorm, is the sidewalk all cleaned out around the monument? And the priest was stunned. He said, well, I'll go out and look. And I said, well, Father, aren't you responsible for it? You know, it's on your property as well. You're right next door. I thought you, as a as a service to the country and our national monuments, you'd be out there shoveling, making sure it's clean. He said, no, no, I, I, I have not never done that myself. You know, I said, well, Father, you should really look into that, all right? Nothing better than being a good witness for being a good citizen, being a good part member of our country. So that's one of the little jokes I used to love to play on, on the priests. Uh, Father Paul was his name. and. Uh, Later on, I told him who I was. 
and uh, he got a big kick out of it himself. So that's, that would be something my father would do, pulling jokes, uh, harmless jokes on people, you know, just to kind of get them, get their blood pressure up a little bit. So that's what I enjoy doing, get people's blood pressure just up a little bit. <laughs> Hey, blessings, take care, and please keep Father David White in your thoughts and prayers. God love.